Okay everyone, so I'm back and I filmed a couple of grocery hauls over the past few months that I have had no time to edit and so they've just kind of been sitting in my computer waiting for this moment. So I went ahead and spent some time editing and you're gonna have one this week and next week. I'm just gonna go ahead and schedule them on Thursdays since you guys are used to, uh, or at least I used to, do grocery hauls on Thursdays. So this one I actually filmed before I think the baby was born, but we hadn't seen him yet, but we have seen him now. And he's amazing. Pictures on my Instagram and Facebook. <laughs> so um, if you want to see Rocky, you can do that. But anyway, I want you to see this grocery haul because I actually got some pretty darn good deals. So you need to see this and be encouraged by it. So anyway, without much further ado, here's this week's grocery haul. Hey everybody, it's Amanda. What do you say we do a grocery haul for old time's sake? Okay, so it's been a while. My life is crazy and busy, even though I thought it would slow down after we empty nested. No, it has gotten ever so much busier. And if you have not seen, we had our first grandbaby. Yes, there are pictures on Instagram and Facebook on the Beals page. So go look and you can see how big and beautiful he is. Nine pounds, 14 ounces, Richard the third. My soul, I have yet, we, we took a quick trip up to Wisconsin for the baby shower, came back and he was born like a week later, or something like that, maybe like less than two weeks. And um, yeah, so I, we haven't even gone to see him yet and I am like chomping at the bit to go and squeeze those cheeks. So we've just been like FaceTiming and taking pictures and I keep sharing them on Instagram and Facebook, so if, on my story, so if you wanna follow us there, you can, but anyway. We've been just just focused on that forever. <laughs> so, but anyway, I was out. I had, a, I had a nice quiet day today, which is rare. And I did a little grocery shopping for the week. Very little, very little. And uh, but I thought, you know what? I got some good deals. Let me show you what I got. So uh, hey, let's look at the receipts. Don't you miss these days, guys? Okay, discount grocery, fifteen dollars and seventy-two cents. Food Lion, twelve dollars and sixty-three cents. I didn't actually total it up. It's like 28, 35-ish, maybe, something like that um, for those. So that's what I spent. And man, isn't it crazy how times change because this is what I got for that amount of money. Yeah, I know. But I actually think I did pretty well. So all things considered, this right here is what I got at Food Lion. I am just in a fruit zone. I, I've been eating like fruit every day. So, I got some strawberries, they were two for $4, and I would have gotten two, but I, honestly, this was the only one that I thought looked pretty good. So I just, because the rest of them are kind of still like yellowy or white. So anyway, I just got one and I thought that'll be good for now. And it was $2. This tortellini two pack, Rick loves these, um, and they're really good for a quick after work meal. Um, and there, it was on sale for $4.99 for the two pack. So I thought that was pretty good. And so of course I had to get some heavy whipping cream to go with that to make my own um, Parmesan. So that was $5.39 whipping cream. Heavy whipping cream is expensive. Ain't no doubt about it. But I can use it for a lot of meals and a lot of different things. So I'm totally cool with that. So that is what I got at Food Lion. That was the $12 right there, just off the bat. But Let's talk about the great deals I got at the discount store because I did get some pretty good deals this week. So starting off with these diet pizzas. So um, they were $2.50 each. And there's two of them here. I just picked up whichever ones they have. And I'm, I'm not vegan by any means now, but I actually really just love these pizzas. I think they taste really good. And for $2.50, you just can't beat that. So I grabbed both of those and I'm happy with it. I've also been having these English muffins for breakfast. I mean, obviously it's a lot cheaper than eating out, but it's only a dollar at my discount store. For all 60, that's like a week's worth of breakfast if you toss some eggs on it. And I've been getting eggs. My boss actually has chickens and she gives me eggs for free every week, especially right now because they have so many. So I get farm fresh eggs for free right now, which I know is definitely a privilege if not everybody gets that. But I mean, essentially my breakfasts are covered for a dollar. So that works out really, really well. Lunches though, oh boy, they expensive. So <laughs> this peppered smoked turkey was actually on sale. And I don't know if you can see, it's like $1.99 a pound at my discount store. So it was, this one was $2.17, $2.25, $2.25, $2.25, $2.25, $2.25, $2.25, $2.25, $2.25, $2.25, $2.25, $2.25, $2.25, $2.25, $2.25, $2.25, $2.25, $2.25, $2.25
and 233. So I got three pounds of uh, sliced deli meat for like 750, something like that when it's all said and done. So, I mean, you just, who can beat that? You just can't, right? I mean, that's gonna take Rick and I through the week and we're covered on lunches. And that's like about what you'd pay for one sandwich if we ate out. So, I mean, that's crazy. But we already have bread and stuff. But um, chips, these chips at the discount store, they were a dollar bag. Again, I'm gonna divide it up. That's gonna take us through the week. And so, again, really, so we're, we're just, this is what we're doing pretty much every week. I did get these, these were a little extra. These organic silken tofu. Again, I'm not particularly eating vegan, but you guys, this silken tofu is what I use to make my um, chocolate. My, what is it? Like, I forget what I call it. It's like vegan chocolate. It's supposed to be like a cheesecake, a vegan cheesecake. I'll put a link up at the top so you can see my recipe. But let me tell you something I don't even eat regular cheesecake anymore. I eat it with the tofu. <laughs> it's so good. And these were on sale for 33 cents each, and they're good until July 4th. Like what, I can make a couple of them by then. So, I mean, that's, and there's, it's a super quick, easy to put together pie. I just gotta wait till I get some Oreos on sale. <laughs> um, but anyway, I mean, and this will be great when I have Brianna and Trey over, we can have a little family thing. So, I mean, yeah, that is smoking deal, 33 cents. What, I could do so much with that. So anyway, um, all of this was the 1572 at my discount store. Which, I mean, come on now. That's that's some actually pretty good deals. I mean, just honestly, one pound of lunch meat at a regular store right now is like $10.99. So, I mean, just that alone, I think, is a crazy good deal. And everything else, I, I think I really, really saved a good amount of money with all of these things. So, anyway, this is just what we're going to need this week to get by. I actually, this whole pasta, we actually have something, I'll show you. This turkey sausage, I've had it sitting in my fridge forever. And Rick... <laughs> <laughs> and I have some spinach in there too that I want to use. So I'm going to throw the spinach in with it also. But Rick is, we've been talking about different things that we want to do with it. Normally I slice it up and cook it with um, like sliced cabbage and onions over some mashed potatoes. But Rick said he wanted to try it with the tortellini. So I was like, oh, I'll pick it up. Because we, we actually still have a lot of stuff from st storage. So I mean, I'm kind of getting down to the end of my storage. But... But there's still some things I'm just trying to make use of. So anyway, this was this is the reason why I bought this is because I was like, let's use this. And that was his idea. And I think that'll actually go for two meals at least. So that'll be pretty good. And like I said, super quick. This is this will take like, you know, 10 minutes to fry up and slice and fry up. And this will take like 10 minutes to cook tops, including making the sauce. So, I mean, I think I think it's going to be Whew. Anyway, in case you're curious, we are probably eating out maybe twice a week. We have a couple of places that we frequent. Um, one is an Asian place that's run by a local family and um, we can eat there under $15 and it's like quick and easy. It's on the way home. It's got fresh vegetables and meat and that is for like a night where we work late, which we do often. So if I'm coming home at seven o'clock at night, I'm not going to cook a full meal, especially when we leave at like five o'clock in the morning. So that's one of the places that we eat. And then we have, you know, there's a couple of fast food restaurants that will occasionally hit and I have apps for them. So I try to keep it cheap on that too. Cause I gotta be honest with you, I am saving every time to take my little self to see my little grandson. That's what I'm doing. I'm so excited about it. <laughs> so, so we are being cheap over here. You best believe that. But, um, but yeah, we just, we're just, running constantly trying to save money do some things and I, i've had um i had surgery if you follow us on instagram uh you can see there's a um story highlight on my instagram page and you can hear the whole thing about the surgery and all of that if you want to look at that um, but i still have a couple more appointments i can't move to wisconsin yet wish i could but i i still have a few things going on with that and i have to solve all of that you know it's easier just to keep going with the doctors that i have Hopefully we'll get all that sorted out soon. <laughs> and then, um, and then you know, we'll be free to make different plans. We got a lot of plans in our, in our mind and our future. But anyway, okay, so that is it for today. Just a little, just a little catch up, just a little, hey, how you doing? Here are my groceries. This is what I spent this week. Still trying to mostly live off what we have in our storage. I mean, 
praise the Lord, I bought like hundreds of pounds of flour. I have, I had so much pasta. I had a freezer full of meat and we've just kind of been, you know, mostly living off of that for a while, uh, kind of dwindling it down and uh, seeing what we can do. We're cutting the grass. I don't know if you can hear him, but anyway, um, but we're doing great and I hope you guys are doing great. We miss you. We think about you from time to time. And, uh, and yeah, hopefully life will slow down and we'll catch back up with you guys. And if we take a little trip to Wisconsin, we will ask if we, if we can do a video with the baby, at least maybe, maybe a little glimpse of him, you know, you know, he's so pretty. He's so pretty. He has so much hair and he's so just squishy. I just love him. Okay. By the way, he's Richard the third, in case you were wondering, Richard the third. They call him Rocky. I love it. Anyway, all right. You guys have a good day. Thank you for hanging out with me yet again. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.